In today's video, we're going to place the grass we made in the Blender tutorial earlier into Unreal Engine. Now, to start, we imported the grass and I made a landscape material that's just green and a grass material that's just green right now. Now, we have two ways to put the grass onto this landscape. We can first of all just go to our foliage tab and then paint some grass on after throwing it in there. Of course, we can go and select here and modify some settings like the density and make it lower, say 10, and paint it on. Or of course, we could use the landscape material method by right-clicking, foliage, grass type, and we'll just call this grass, I'll call it tutorial or whatever. And we can just go and click plus to add a mesh to our grass. And then we can go and use our mesh. Save it. And then of course we can go to our landscape material. And then of course add layer blend. Add some layers, we'll call one grass. Another dirt. And we will take this green into the grass and then just choose a brown. We can choose these layer blends and then we can get a grass output and a layer sample and we can sample grass and this will say wherever you painted grass layer on your landscape to show this grass type on it and for the grass type we'll choose the one that we just made and then we'll go to landscape paint and we don't have our layers here so I'm just gonna go and reload this level Landscape, paint, and now we got our layers. We'll add the data. Okay. Okay. And now you can see we got the grass all over the place because it's defaulted to the grass layer. If I paint the dirt, you'll see that we got the dirt here and the grass here with the green on the bottom. This grass is currently too dense, so I'm going to go to the grass type and I'm just going to lower it to maybe 30 or something. And that's better. Next up we need some wind on our grass so let's go to our grass material. Now in your grass material I just modeled out the grass fully. If you're using textures obviously put a texture in here and if you're using alpha cut it obviously go to blend mode mask and plug the mask into your opacity mask output. Now for our wind we need to add a simple grass wind node and plug it into rolled position offset and now it's going to give us some errors we need to plug things in to it so we'll start with zero into additional WPO this is additional world position offset that you want to add to the simple grass wind so if you want to add another effect to it you can for wind speed we'll hit s to add a scalar parameter speed plug it into here we'll start by hitting one and just adding a constant of one for one weight we'll get to that later uh, so change speed to one and then i can go hit s to add another scalar i'll we'll call this intensity We'll maybe hit more like 0.1 for this one and throw it into there and save. And you'll see there's some slight movement in our grass now. So if I were to drag this out and adjust the scalar parameters in here, or if I were to make a material instance, I could do it there. I can adjust this and you'll see what changing the 
intensity does, it changes how far it can wiggle in the wind. If I change the speed, it changes how fast it does. Now, if you want to be able to make it windier in your game, like you have stormy weather or something, you're likely going to want to keep the speed up at a decent amount because if I make it wiggle a little bit more so you can see, if I adjust the speed, when I'm adjusting it and you're slowly transitioning, it kind of glitches out. So you'll likely only want to adjust the intensity if you change the wind. Now, one thing you might notice is that it's wiggling at the bottom here too, which obviously wouldn't happen because it's attached there. So you're going to need to find a way to mask out the bottom there. Now, there's two main ways to do this. You could use a texture cord in it, or you could use vertex paint. So I could go to UV editing and then select all, hit one or two to go to a side view, and then hit U, project from view bounds. And you'll see that the bottom is now in the bottom of the UVs and the top is at the top. You can also paint the bottom black with vertex colors and then have it get brighter as it goes up. In vertex colors, you could use either of those to see mask. And then we can just re-export this. And then we can go and use the texture coordinate node and then mask out one of them. Now we want the y-axis because it's going up and down. So we're going to use G. And then we can put it in the weight instead of the 1 which I can delete, and I can hit save. And you'll see that's actually masking out the top, so I can just do a 1 minus. Of course, you could flip it upside down in your UV editor. And now only the tops are moving. And we can adjust the intensity and whatnot. Of course, you can add an additional WPO, like having a bigger movement across larger sections of grass so you have like this area that's folding rather than just having a little bit all over the place this is mr tripod and thanks for watching if you like this video please like and subscribe to help my channel grow thank you